I'm Courtney Murphy, Denver Metro Realtor, and today we're out here in Centennial, Colorado, in the Copperleaf community looking at the Richmond homes. Richmond has a couple different um, uh, collections out here and different price ranges, and some of the homes are very affordable compared to a lot of the homes, in, new homes in the Denver area. So if you're looking for a home in, a, in Centennial, you'll definitely want to come check out this community. Right now we're in the Yorktown model, a very popular Richmond model. Let's go ahead and get started. So when you first walk in and turn around, you have this little hallway area, good size, and it opens up into your great room, which you can see right back here. Um, we have a coat closet right over there. And if you would have turned, um, that would be to your left, right when you walk in, we have our stairs going down into our basement. Now, basements in these homes, you do get a basement in the base price, but it does come unfinished. And Richmond does have options for you to finish your basement if that's something you want to do. Coming back here, we come right into our main great room area. We, you can see we have some big windows back here, letting in plenty of light. Nice gas fireplace over here with the perfect place to put your TV. Turn it right back around over here. We come into our nice size kitchen. First thing that I notice is this nice kitchen island, which allows for seating on the side over here and seating on this side right here. So you could really actually very um, comfortably fit six chairs around your island. That's pretty nice. We have a good amount of cabinets in here and countertop space. Now, keep in mind here that uh, granite countertops do come in, in the base price. And although this model is featured with stainless steel appliances, black appliances come in the base price, but you can always upgrade to get those uh, popular stainless steel options. Now, coming over here, we have our dining room. Good sized dining room. This is a pretty long table. Plenty of room for um, a good sized table in here. And what I really like about this dining room are all the windows. So we have windows on all three walls here, just letting in lots and lots of light. Would absolutely look beautiful in here when you're eating Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner with the family. Maybe it's snowing outside. You're really going to um, be able to enjoy the outside from this dining room. Okay, walking back across our kitchen over here, we are going to come, we have, our, they have this set up as an office right here. You can tell it's an office because it has the double French doors coming in and there's no closet. It's a really good size space for an office. However, you can, if you need it, you can have this built as a bedroom. And... This is another thing I come across the hall here. We have our powder bath here for the main floor. Now, if you needed to, you could upgrade this powder bath and have it made into a full bath. So that way, if you need a bedroom and a full bathroom on this main floor, that's an option here. I mention that because I do have, get a lot of shoppers who um, need a bedroom on the main floor. Maybe they have an elderly parent that lives with them or comes and stays a lot. This is a, a home that would work in that situation, and these are the modifications you can make to get this house that way. Now, over here, this is kind of our bedroom area. This door is leading to your garage. And over here, we have a really big, nice walk-in coat closet. Should be good to fit all your outdoor gear. All right, so we're going to walk back across through our main living area in our great room. And you can see our stairs leading up right here. We're going to go ahead and head upstairs. Okay, here we are at the top of the stairs, and there's lots of windows up here, letting in lots of light into this area. And the first thing that I want to point out is looking down into our great room area, just so you can get a better view of that. Okay, let's start exploring the upstairs. As you can see, when you first come up, we have this nice loft area, and there's a lot of room up here. They have it set up as an extra TV room, but think about how you use it best for your family. Toy room, art room, play room, 
all the kids' toys up here. Lots of room for whatever you need it for. Over here we have our laundry room. It's a good sized laundry room. We have a utility sink in here and a couple of windows letting in plenty of your light, plenty of light to do your laundry. We also have a linen closet right here. And let's go check out our bedrooms. So walking across the loft over here, we have two bedrooms that are both facing the front of the house here. Good size for um, a child's bedroom. And walking back across the hall, right over here, we have another bedroom again facing the front of the house. And right here we have a bathroom that can be shared between these two bedrooms. We have a double sink vanity here. And a private room right here for your tub and um, toilet, which is nice because somebody can be using, uh, washing their hands while someone else is um, using the bathroom. And we have an, one last secondary bedroom back here. Now this is one that the kids may fight over because although it's about the same size as the other bedrooms, this one does have its own full bath. Maybe you want to make this one the guest room. All right, so the one thing that we haven't looked at yet is the master suite. So let's go check that out. Walking back across the loft here, we come to our master bedroom. So this is nice. First of all, it's a good size. Another thing that I like about it is its placement in the upstairs. We have all the kids' bedrooms across the loft area, and the master bedroom is kind of here off by itself. Maybe give yourself a little bit more um, solace when you come to your master retreat here. All right, master bathroom. We have a nice soaking tub here, a good sized shower, and then we have a nice long double sink vanity. All right, we have our toilet closet right over here, and then a sizable walk-in Again, my name is Courtney Murphy, Denver Metro Realtor, and we are out here in Centennial, Colorado, in the Copper Leaf community. We're looking at the Richmond Homes, and this is the Yorktown. If you'd like to see this home in person, definitely give me a call. I'd love to help you find the home that's right for you and your family, and I will save you money on your home purchase. Uh, and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I upload new home tours every single week, so you can walk through all these model homes right from the comfort of your living room couch. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today and have a wonderful day.